Currently, there is a trend going on in YouTube on podcast where multiple creators are investing time and they are giving very good information over those podcasts. But only one problem is those are very long videos like two hours, three hours kind of a video. Now, before you invest your three hours time in any of the podcast, I think it's better to understand what's there in the podcast. And if you get a summary out of it, then it will be easier for you to decide that if you really need to spend that three hours or not. So we can use chat GPT to get that summary. So let me show you how can you do it. I'm in chat GPT console. If you don't know how to open chat GPT or log in, I have a different video in my channel. I'll add the link in the description below. And similarly, if you want to use Microsoft Copilot or Google Gemini, this will also work there. Now coming back, I copied one prompt and let me paste it here. Can you give me a summary of this TED talk? I copied link of one of the popular TED talk and I pasted it here. And if I just hit enter, then let's see what it does. What it will do, it will check that video and it will give you a summary. Now you can see it gave you a summary. Now here in this particular summary, there is not much of information. Maybe uh, this particular two paragraphs will not suffice. So you can ask for more details. What I'll do now, I'll reprompt and I'll ask, give me a two pages summary of this video. So what it will do, it will now give you a summary, but still in a detailed way. Now you can see it is showing that introduction, then what are the other points were discussed. Now, based on this particular information, you will be able to decide if you need to watch that video or not. And this will really help you to save some good amount of time before you invest two hours, three hours in a longer videos. So this was number one. Now, the second one is if you want to get a summary out of a very long form article, then you can also use ChatGPT or other LLM models to get a summary out of it. Let me paste another prompt here. Please give me a summary of this article from this website. What I've done, I went to AWS site and I took one article from there. And this is a very, very long article on Lambda function. And if you need to get any details, if you, you can see it searched one site because it's I already provided only link of one site and it gave me a detail. Similar way, if you want to elaborate a bit further and if you are looking for a one page or two page kind of a summary, you can ask. You can also ask for bullet points that what are the points have been covered in that particular article, you will be able to get it. Maybe if you don't know any specific subject, but you may need to discuss about it very soon, then this kind of a details will be really, really helpful. And another good part is all these options I'm talking about, all the tips or all the suggestions I'll share in this video will work from your mobile devices also. You can just install chat GPT application there and you can ask similar questions. Similarly, Google Gemini and Microsoft Copilot applications are also available. So you can check in my channel if you want to know how to install, how to configure, how to use those applications. I'll also add those links in the video description. Now let's talk about the third point. You can use chat GPT as a replacement of Google search. Normally, whenever we search anything in Google, nowadays we get too many promoted suggestions, right? because multiple companies runs ad and Google prioritize those results. First five to six results are from that particular area only. And there will be few other results who are working continuously on SEO and those will also rank higher. So it may happen that you may not get the right information all the time. So chat GPT can be used as a replacement of your Google search. Just think about one scenario. You need to search something instead of the Google search. If you open chat GPT mobile app and you ask that same question, then you will get the result and answers very, very quickly. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. I pasted another prompt. What is the difference between iPhone 16 and 16 Pro? So this only released a couple of weeks back, right? And what it will do, it will search the wave. You can see it's searching wave and then it will pull the required information for you. So you don't need to go to multiple different sites to get any of the details. You can see it is showing on point by point wise display, camera settings, performance, battery life, everything. Now, if you need this particular detail in a tabular format so that you're for a better reading experience, you can also do that. If I prompt again, please give me these details in a tabular format. Then it will start giving you those details in a table format. Now, another point to mention here, if you are not using a paid version of ChatGPT, if you are using the free one, then parallelly use multiple different LLM models to get your answers. Because what happens whenever you are asking multiple questions using the free tier, there will be some specific quota. After that, it will ask you to wait for four hours, eight hours, maybe another day also. So, 
Chat GPT is one option. Microsoft Copilot is another. Google Gemini. You can also use Claude for all these purposes. So if you parallelly use all these four applications, then you may not need to pay for anything, right? And you will be able to get 90% of your work done using all these four applications. All these four applications works properly for standard users in majority of the cases. While some of the application does better in some of the areas, that can be a topic of a different video altogether. But parallelly, you can use all these four applications to save money, and there is no need to pay twenty dollars. per month for each of the subscriptions and similarly you can use their mobile applications if you are on the go and if you are looking for something very quickly now before we move to the next point i am in process to record one generative ai course where chat gpt google gemini microsoft copilot cloud all these application will get covered in very very detailed way I added one link in the description below. If you fill out that form, you will be getting 70% discount coupon once the course will be launched. I am planning to launch this course in couple of months time, and currently I am looking forward to some data points. So if you are interested, please do fill out that form. Okay. Now coming back, you can see that now it analyzed the entire code and it gave us this particular table. That here in this one table, then left side display, camera, processor, everything, and in the right side all those details. If you are looking for further detail, you can ask a reprompt, and you can get your desired output. Now let's talk about the fourth suggestion. If you want to learn something, any topic, that you can ask ChatGPT, and you can get a guidance. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If I paste another prompt here, I want to use VLOOKUP function within Excel. please guide me with the detailed steps along with example now if i hit it will show you step by step way how can you use vlookup and it will also give you required details so i picked a vlookup because excel is one of my favorite topic uh, but if you are having any requirement on anything any topic that you can ask chat gpt and you will be able to get right results you can see here it's showing two different responses and i can choose from any of them you can see step by step prepare the data and then how to enter the formula the explanations everything everything in detail and then you can use any of them and comparatively if you are liking any of the response you can give that feedback to chat gpt also but you got the point right that in case you need to learn any topic you don't need to search anywhere you can just ask chat gpt it will give you full details to learn about that topic now fifth one is maybe if you are planning to learn a new language then how can you use chat gpt you can simply ask chat gpt help me to speak any of the language i mentioned bengali because that's my mother tongue so i mentioned that help me to speak bengali and then what it will do it will give you all those step by step way and maybe there are some suggestions it started with that hello how we call uh, hello in bengali that is namaskar this is the way because i understand bengali that's why i typed bengali here if you want to learn any specific language it can help you even it can give you a learning plan that step by step what are the things you need to follow to learn that language because learning a language is a huge thing and it's a very maybe long term process right it's not very easy for uh, all of us to learn a new language very quickly you can prompt and reprompt to ask multiple details you can ask for a learning plan for 3 months what are the resources you need to refer to what are the videos you should watch how you can practice your pronunciations all those things you can ask so if you want to learn any of the new language you can really use chat gpt as one of your support now the sixth tip on how can you improve your productivity using chat gpt if you want to know about any of the maybe difficult or complex topic let me take one example here explain what is neuroscience while this is a vast subject and it's huge but at least chat gpt will give you the idea that what is it what are the branches are there in neuroscience and everything you can see it started giving you the details so if you need to understand any complex topic you can just ask chat gpt and it will give you the starting point and from there you can prompt and reprompt to know more about it so using chat gpt the opportunities are limitless so you just need to imagine that what you can get it done 
by chat gpt and then you just need to ask so i'm only giving you 10 12 simple suggestions here you can think about more and please suggest some of the topics how everyone can use chat gpt to improve their productivity in the comments below some of your ideas can help us to know something more about it so please do comment so all of us will know that what are the other ways we can use chat gpt to improve our productivity and save some time on daily basis okay coming back to the seventh point now, if you want to know any technical thing, like I'm giving you one example here, I would like to enable custom signature for my Gmail account. Please suggest me steps to configure it. So this is just one example. So whenever you have any need of any technical support, you can just ask ChatGPT for it. And it will give you all those step-by-step -step way to configure it. You can see it is showing that open your browser and go to Gmail and then use your credentials, everything, all settings and step-by-step -step guide to configure your signature. So this is another way if you're looking for any technical help, all these LLM models can help you to save some huge amount of time. Now the eighth point is the most used one. You can ask ChatGPT to write emails, blogs, newsletter, or any write-up for you. While ChatGPT is not very specifically good about writing on this particular thing, it generates good content, but in some of the cases, it sounds bit robotic, right? For that, you can use Claude to generate those kind of response. So if you're looking for an email, right? So you can give one email if you want to get a response generated for your email that you can feed into Claude, and from there, you can generate your response. If you also have a blog there you want to write, and you can ask for ideas, you can ask to write your blog, you can also ask to write your blogs in a SEO tuned way, all those things you can do using all these LLM models. So all these LLM models can be a great help for you in case you want to write something in any of the languages. Now let's talk about the ninth point and this will be very useful. If you need to generate any code using ChatGPT, you can also do that. Let me show you one example here. Help me write a Python code to copy all data rows of Excel files which are inside C drive data folder and collate all data rows in a single Excel file as an output which will be placed inside data slash processed folder. None of the blank rows should be considered as input. Please show a green tick if you understood my requirement. So this is the way if you are working on some data and there are some manual tasks which you want to automate, but you don't know Python. I also don't know Python in that way. So if you want to automate some of your tasks, you can do it using the help of ChatGPT or any other LLM models. So let me hit enter. You can see now it gave a green tick. Yes, I understand your requirement. You want a Python script that does this, this, this thing. And then it started generating the Python code. And after the code is generated, it will also give you the explanation, the how the script was written, which part does what. So that if you're just curious and you want to know something about it, you can also use this particular information. And then you can use this particular code for any of your automation requirement or wherever you have any need to generate any of the code. Now, my next tip is related to this code only. Now, this time take an example. Maybe you wrote some code or you got some code from elsewhere, but you want to check, is there any way to improve on that particular code and will it give you the required output? So that also you can ask ChatGPT. So what I'm asking here, please review below code and suggest for any improvements. And then if I paste the code and hit enter, then it will analyze the entire code and then it will give the suggestions. You can see, consider it's an AI generated code. It's mentioning the code is well structured and achieves the goal of collating Excel data efficiently. However, there are few areas where you can enhance it to robustness and readability. Here are some suggestions for the improvement. So ChatGPT is analyzing its own code and giving you suggestions that how this can be improved further. So you got the point, right? If you have certain codes to examine and then you can do it. Maybe if you are a team leader of a software developers and you don't need to read all those codes which have been written by your developers, right? You can quickly check it for any errors, anything. Similar way, if you have wrote one maybe full essay, email, everything, you can get your grammar or English also checked with the help of ChatGPT and other LLM models. Now we talked about all 10 tips. Now let me give you two more additional bonus tips. Here I'm asking ChatGPT, I'm planning to launch a new mobile app in one month time. Please suggest me a detailed marketing plan. 
So if you are planning on anything, you need a marketing plan, you need a sales plan, everything you can get generated using ChatGPT or any other LLM models. So if I hit enter, what it will do, it will start working and it will give us the suggestions. You can see week by week, it's giving you a detailed plan using which you can work on. You can also ask ChatGPT to convert it as a tabular form so that you can export it to an Excel and from there you can start working on it. So this is another idea. If you're working on anything, any marketing plan, any project plan, you can get it generated using ChatGPT and other LLM models. Now the final tip, and this is one thing I asked ChatGPT first time when I got access to it. So that is, I am planning to start a YouTube channel where I will cover Excel related tips and tricks. Please suggest me fast 20 video topics for the same. So if you are running any uh, YouTube channel or you are in content creation, so anything, any idea, if you are looking for some inspiration, you will be able to take support from ChatGPT and other LLM models. You can see it's giving me 20 different ideas on how can I start my Excel related channel. So this is all about it in this video. Let me know if you like this video and if you want me to share 10 more such tips in another video, please do mention in the comments. Then I will work on that and I'll produce another similar video. If you want to know how to generate stunning PowerPoint presentations using ChatGPT and other tools, then check out this video to know everything about it.